Hello guys, welcome back to blackbronze.com and today I'm going to show you how to do wavy goal animation in Cinema 4D. So let's get started. First, I'm going to create a plane. Go to here and select plane. And orientation, I set to negative Z. I set width to 1077 cm and height segment I changed to 200 okay so if you want to see the geometry lines just hit NF so you can see the geometry lines here okay to hide it back just hit NC okay next let's apply Displacer Deformer Go to Deformer And then Go down here And select Displacer Okay, put Displacer under Plane Go to Displacer Attribute Under Shading Set the shader to Noise Go to Noise Attribute Here we need to change some setting here under relative scales change this value to 188 and then for y I set to 166 okay go back to displacer under object tab let's increase the height from 10cm to 124 cm Here we get some issue which is the edge becomes sharp here. We need to solve this issue. We need to solve this issue by go to go to phone tag and then under angle limit let's disable it. Okay. Now looks better. Next let's apply shear deformer. Go to deformer and select share put the former under displacer okay under fall off tab change infinite to noise okay and then change our noise type from perlin to box noise okay under object tab Let's increase the strength to 70. And then enable fillet. Okay. Here we need to scale down our deformer shape. Let's scale it down to um, 60%. And we rotate it clockwise angle. to 80 degree okay I know the shape right now is very jagged and low poly let's soften all the edges here by select plane go to subdivide surface hold alt to make it automatic apply now everything becomes smooth all right let's create a camera now activate it right click and I would like to apply Octan camera tag because we're going to use Octan render for this tutorial okay here under the object tab focal length I set to portrait mode 80 millimeters okay under the coordinate set the rotation all the rotation to zero and also for y and x as is okay so i just adjust the frame to make sure everything in frame for the animation here you can test the animation by move shear deformer okay uh, 
I, I just leave it for Y as is. Okay, everything's look in frame already. Let's continue for the materials and the lighting stage. First, let's open live viewer window for Octane. Okay, just put right here. So you can see side by side. Let's create our lighting on the object. I choose HDRI environment. Okay. Here I would like to use HDRI link from Grayscale Gorilla. Select environment tag here and then you need to drag texture here to our HDRI link. Okay, double click HDRI link. Here I choose basic pack which is studio basics. Go to down here and I choose 3 large 10. Okay, just double click. Close it and then we start to render for preview. Let's create our material under materials for Octane. I choose mix material. Double click. Okay, you need to go to node editor. We'll adjust our custom material inside here. Delete float texture. Here I drag Octane materials and go to basic tab. Change our material type from diffuse to glossy. Disable our diffuse. Under specular tab, we change our color to gold color. This one I set to 38. 58 and 86 okay under index change the index number to 1 and then we need to go to under roughness tab set the float to 1 okay let's duplicate this material hold alt Sorry, hold shift and drag it to here. Here we need to adjust the roughness. Set to zero back for this material. Under specular, let's change the color. For here, I change to 26. Okay. So let's connect our material. Choose this material and set to material 1 and then set this material to material 2 under the Octane mix. Set the amount to 0 0.2. Okay, let's apply our material to our plane. Right now, it's look dark a little bit. I need to adjust the HDRI. Select the environment tag. Under main tab, change the rotation X to negative 0.8. Okay, and rotation Y to negative 0.9. Go to obtain camera tag, select this one. Under camera image, we need to enable it. Alright, let's change our response from sRGB to um F125 CD okay and then exposure I set to 1.4 okay the highlight conversion I set to 1 
okay and I set the gamma to 1.3 now look better so here you can start animate our shear deformer I changed the animation duration from 90 to 200 go to frame 0 you can move here sorry select shear deformer move to here okay set the keyframe here and then go to frame 200 just move to here okay so you can see it animate for the animation I need to change the graph I select position for X and position Y right click go to animation show F curve right now we need to change the animation from easy ease to linear okay so I think that's all for this tutorial alright guys thanks again for watching Hopefully you guys learn some cool techniques. As always, make sure you to check out other tutorial in my channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe button and hit notification bell to get the latest update from me. Take care guys and we'll see you next time.